Hey guys, my name is Lance, and growing up, I wanted to be the Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback. And as my uh, <laughs> as my football career ended in the uh, seventh grade, at the ripe age of 13, or however old you are then, uh, I picked up baseball and fell in love with it and wanted to be a uh, major league pitcher. So here's my glove. It's a beautiful piece of leather, workmanship. And so uh, today, uh, I want to talk about kind of celebrity and fame and how it shouldn't be desired. You know, growing up, we all want, uh, you know, something. We have something that we want to be. And for a lot of us, it's to be a celebrity, to be famous, uh, to be well-known and well-liked. And um, so today I want to talk about three things that, that come along with it that, that, are, that are deterrents to that lifestyle. Um, and so the, the first one um, is heightened self, uh, self-awareness and expectations. And so, uh, you know, in this article, uh, it's called The Loss of Fame, Psychological Implications. And so in this article, it, it talks about Bono uh, from U2 and how um, in an interview, uh, he literally just started undressing and taking his clothes off. And, and he was proving the point of, man, I am the guy. I am Bono from U, U2 and I can do anything and everything, everything and nobody really cares. Um, and... So while he makes a fair point, and while um, that status affords him the freedom to do those things, that's only uh, the surface. That's what people see on the outside. People don't see the inside and what happens behind closed doors. Um, and that's the point that this article makes. And um, it talks about how, um, you know, 73% of artists and 68% of uh, musicians um, suffer from mental illness and struggle with mental health um, and it, it isn't what it seems right people people look at the outside and assume that's reality um, when it's quite the opposite and so that goes to my second point uh, mental health and so the article that I found is is, is uh, you know uh, acutely uh, titled titled uh, celebrity suicide and it talks about it goes into the suicide of Marilyn Monroe and the effect that it had on uh, you know, the people around the world and how after the suicide of Marilyn Monroe, people, um, a higher rate of people uh, took their own life as a, as a response to that. And um, as they viewed Marilyn Monroe as almost an idol, um, they, they saw, man, if, if she thinks it's best, if the way that she's going to go out is by suicide, man, I'm going to do it too. If, if her life is so great uh, and she doesn't even think it's worth living, then man, what, what am I even living for? Um, and so, you know, I want to quote that statistic again from the last article. 73% of musicians and 68% of artists um, struggle with mental health, and, and which in extreme cases can lead to suicide. Um, and, uh, man, it's just, we look at the, at the surface and um, don't realize just uh, the reality. And so the, my last point is how we are affected. And so the, the article um, that we have is uh, the fame, fame, fame attack, the inflammation of celebrity and its consequences. And so this article just talks about um, you know, celebrity and as fame has uh, seen an uptick in their influences, it has gone up. Um, it talks about how we are affected. And that's what I want to talk about. And so Edward Bernays is uh, the father of public relations. And uh, he said this, uh, which I'm sorry, I, I couldn't memorize this, but uh, I'm going to read a quote. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and so he says, Who are the men who, without our realizing it, give us ideas? Tell us whom to admire and whom to despise, what to believe about, uh, how our houses should be designed, what furniture we should put into them, what menus we should serve at our table, what kind of shirts we must wear, what sports we should indulge in, what plays we should see, what charities we should support, what pictures should we admire, what slang we should affect, what jokes we should laugh at. And so this is a very uh, you know, sobering um, quote as it, as it uh, man, just makes me think like, man, how am I affected? Um, how am I negatively affected? And, and he says it is, we are unknowingly affected. And, um, and uh, I think all, all of this uh, culminates in, in this last point. It's how, how we are affected and how the celebrities are affected. And, um, you know, in my conclusion, you know, I'm going to talk about um, how in Ecclesiastes, King Solomon 
um, runs an experiment and, and, and says, basically, uh, man, God gives him uh, riches and treasures. And uh, if you don't believe in the Bible, uh, you can look it up on uh, on secular websites. And King Solomon is um, the richest man in the world ever. And you can see on secular websites, all of them say King Solomon number one. And so... Um, he does all these things. He he goes through all these experiments. He looks in in, in, in for pleasure. He looks uh, to um, to success in, in education and jobs and career, and he keeps finding it empty. And um, so, man, my, my my final my closing argument would be um, find your contentment in the Lord, and um, and stop grasping at straws and rest in the grace that He's so freely offered us. Um, it's the best thing you could do with your life. It's the best thing that I've ever done. And um, yeah, I'd love uh, to talk about it if, 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 if you'd like. Um, so feel free to email me, Lance underscore Smith1 at bail.edu. Um, yeah, all right. Love y'all. Cheers. Good night. Yep.